we replace the battery, it starts. The clutch is the problem currently. It was really stuck, like I couldn't even push the clutch pedal down at first, and I kind of slowly just worked on it until it loosened up. And then I pushed the clutch pedal one more time and it just flopped right to the floor. I'm not exactly sure why that happened or what, so I'm going to work on it. Let me show you what it does. Okay. There's my three pedals. Here's my clutch. Okay. It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to just come back up on its own. And we're going to see if we can figure out why it's doing that and how to fix it. This is super greasy and it's attached to <clears throat> and is attached to the clutch pedal. Well, it's, I think it's supposed to be attached. Here is my clutch pedal. Here is the push rod. It's supposed to fit up into there and spring back. It may need replaced. However, it's possible that this is low. This is the brake fluid. It's almost to the minimum line. And since it's been sitting for a year, maybe it just needs fresh juice. Maybe that's wishful thinking. I don't know, but when I have time, I will stop at the auto parts store and get some more fluid and put it in there and just maybe miraculously it will be all better. Who knows? Okay, here we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, we already got that bottom. We already got the bottom screw out from right there. I'm going to get this one out and we got to disconnect the hydraulic line and then take this piece out. Clutch master cylinder. And replace it with this one. Brand new. Okay, I put some rags down because I don't know what kind of fluid is going to come out. Got that out. Oh, it's connected to something up here too. Right there. Right there, it's connected. Okay, so these holes where these will go in. The hydraulic We'll go in there, and this is the piece that's connected in here that I don't know how to get out. Okay, got this off. I had to squeeze this part that's up there still, 
and I'm just going to reattach it to the existing one of these. So I'm going to take this off and attach it to the one that was the original. falling on my hands. Okay, come on. Nope. Nope. Come on. Okay, I got it. Okay. So here's something, it's a little, now that's a little frustrating. It won't fit through here until it's in the hole and I was really hoping to not have to take any more things apart. <sighs> But, I think I'm going to have to. Also. <laughs> all right, all I want to do is to be able to get this in there. This part here is not on the other the old original piece. <sighs> okay, it fits. Now I need to get the hydraulic line back into the side. these back in. The hydraulic line is not all the way put in, but since this is moving around, I think it might be easier if it was secure first. And then uh, put, tighten it up. Righty tidy is backwards when you're upside down. Okay. That would be righty tidy. to this hydraulic line. Oh, and that's much easier to, to tighten. Okay. <sighs> I got that line back in. I got these bolts. I got the bolts up top and over here. I'll put back together. Okay, so now in this guy, the end of the plunger. Well, okay, so that doesn't slide in or out at all. 
Has it? Is it getting... That's not changing anything. Well, I, I think I shall cry if I can't get this in. Oh, you know what? I need it. Okay. So this is... Is your hair all sweaty? No. Well, my ha my hands are really gross. Uh, let me see them. I don't see them. Okay. Well, that's cool. Okay, hang on, bud. I'm having some difficulties here. Your hand? Nope. With the yeah I got the part back in but all but one piece and I think that I'm gonna have to I'm worried I'm gonna have to take more stuff out to put it back in and I just got it back in yep that's what I'm gonna have to do that pain in the butt one okay see that socket wrench this one yeah I need it Okay. Oh, you coming? Um, good. So I got the piece in all but this. Yeah. Does it fit? Nope. I got it. So that pain in the butt bolt has to come back out. And the opposite one of it, that's how to move the pedal out of the way. I was able to loosen the pedal enough that I could pull it back and put this piece in and I lined this up straight on, not crooked at all. And now I need to turn this and screw it into, screw this part into here. Okay, I got it all back in. This piece here is up in the back of the clutch pedal. Everything's hooked in. There we go. Make it a little bit taller. So it's about the same length as the old one. Okay, so there the same length okay all right so it's in now we need to bleed the air Whew. can't get the socket off. Holy crap. Wait a second. Did you see this? Yeah. Is that broken? 